Greetings, saints, and grace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm Pastor Billy D. Welcome to today's Moments in Ministry. John 16 and 32 reads, Indeed, the hour is coming, yes, has now come, that you will be scattered, each to his own, and will leave me alone. And yet I am not alone, because the Father is with me. In 1913, William Howard Taft welcomed his successor, Woodrow Wilson, in the White House. He warned Wilson that the presidency was the loneliest place in the world. Wilson would later write, I never dreamed such loneliness and desolation of heart possible. We don't often think of leaders as being lonely, but it happened to the Apostle Paul. In his second Roman imprisonment, he was confined in a dreadful maritime prison in Rome, from which he penned his second letter to Timothy. He had sent some co-laborers to other fields, 2 Timothy 4 and 10, but had been deserted by everyone but Luke. He longed to see Timothy and Mark. Was anyone with Paul when he died by beheading? We don't know of any human co-workers who were there but we know that God was with him. No matter how alone we may be or feel, God continues to pour out his love for us by the Holy Spirit in Romans 5, 3 and 5. Be assured that he is with you even at this moment. One trouble with being an atheist is that you have nobody to talk to when you are alone. Here's a slice of today's bread of heaven from Joshua 23 and 14. And behold, this day I am going the way of all the earth, and ye know in all your hearts and in all your souls that not one thing have failed of all the good things which the Lord our God spake concerning you. All are come to pass unto you, and not one thing hath failed thereof. Let us pray. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So until we come this way again, may God bless you and keep you, is my prayer.